We've reached the semi-final rounds of the men's triple jump and describing the progress of the competition, Stuart Storey and Paul Dickinson. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. You join us for the men's triple jump semi-final competition. Just to remind you, this is the decider who will go on to contest the medals. That's a foul, but generally, oh, he's got to be a bit more focused. That was very poor. Let's see that again. The end of round results are on screen now. The qualification could depend on this second jump. He had a foul in the first round, doesn't want to leave it till the third. Next to compete will be Great Britain. That's a foul, but generally, oh, he's got to be a bit more focused. That was very poor. Here's the replay of that action. Well, let's take a look at the standings then after that round. One jump to go then to seek qualification. Two fouls already. That's a foul, but generally, oh, he's got to be a bit more focused. That was very poor. Well, here's a run-through of that action again. So let's have a look at the standings after that semi-final. Well, I'm sure they would have been aiming for at least an appearance in the final, so disappointment there at that semi-final elimination. We've reached the semi-finals of the men's triple jump now and describing the progress of the competition, Paul Dickinson and Stuart Storey. Thanks again, Steve. You join us for the men's triple jump semi-final competition. Just a reminder, this is the decider who will go on to contest the medals. That's a bit unfortunate. We'll never know how long that was, but didn't it look good? Well, let's have a look at the replay. Well, let's take a look at the standings then after that round. Well, with a no-jump in the first round, he needs something a bit special here to survive. The British competitor then is up next. A 
About 17 metres there for him. Let's see the replay of that. He built up terrific speed on the runway for this one. He was really motoring. He's looking better and better. Lovely stuff, just like a stone skimming over a mill pond. What a brilliant jump. He really pushed himself to the limit to manage that. Well, you can see the end of round results on screen now. So this man seems to have hit form just at the right time here in the early stages. Next to compete will be Great Britain. So around 17 metres, but there's more to come, I can tell you. Let's see that again. Oh my goodness, he really does get some power into his running. Not such a bad takeoff. That's okay, it's good in these big competitions to get a jump on the board, but he needs to go further. That seemed like a safe jump to me, but the distance was reasonable. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that semi-final. Another great performance there sees them through to the Olympic final. Their performances so far have given them a real medal chance and I can't wait for this final now. Now one of the game's highlights is always the battle of the weightlifting super heavyweights. That competition is getting underway, watched by Stuart Storey. Thanks for that, Steve. Hello and welcome to the Sydney Convention Centre for this super heavyweight competition. Should be a great battle between these enormous strong men. Who will prevail? The British competitor then is up next. If he's successful here, he's in first place. He started the lift, the sheer effort really shows. He prepares himself, composes himself, then hits the bar. Very successful. He made that look so easy. A brilliant lift. Let's have another look at that. A very confident clean that's put him in a good position for the jerk. He really put maximum effort into getting the weights above his head. He was quick to lock his elbows too. Well, he made very short work of that attempt. Very impressive and looking good in the contest now. The British competitor then is up next. Next to compete will be Great Britain. The British athlete is preparing to perform.
Next to compete will be Great Britain. So here goes then for this Olympic record attempt. He started the lift, the sheer effort really shows. Watch the bar bend and vibrate as it rests on his chest. Unbelievable. Oh, and that's the jerk phase complete. Yes, it's a good clean lift there for him. And just to confirm then, the new Olympic record. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Yes, he made that look very easy indeed. Power and coordination in abundance. He's into the jerk very quickly there. Looks to hold the weight well. You can see the subtle changes in balance he's using to keep the weight still. Well, let's have a look at the replay. The British competitor then is up next. If he does lift this, it will be a new Olympic record. Look at the bar bend! It's so heavy! The bar's gone down, that's a fail. They can stay in the competition after that foul, but they must maintain their focus. Well, we'll be able to see in the replay the point where he dropped the weight. That's gone. The British athlete is preparing to perform. So this lift for a new Olympic record. A strong clean there. That'll put him into a good position for the second phase. He's just composing himself here for his final effort. And that's the jerk. The bar's gone down. That's a fail. They must regret fouling that, but they're still in the running for this event. And the replay may tell us where that went wrong, incidentally. He made a great start to this lift with a very good clean from the floor. Looking very good through this phase, I have to say. He's dropped the bar, that's the end of that attempt. Next to compete will be Great Britain. And this is his final chance to break the Olympic record here in Sydney. He executes the clean so quickly. The strength of these big men is almost unbelievable. And he just needs to keep it going now. He made that look so easy. A magnificent Olympic record at the end of that race. Well, here's a run through of that action again. He used a focused burst of power to lift the weight onto the shoulders. Technically sound, superb jerk. He lifted the weight with precision and locked his elbows well. That sets him up beautifully for the rest of the competition. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. Great Britain! Well, he's got three attempts at this Olympic record weight. Oh, that's a shame, but the red lights are on. It's a foul. They can stay in the competition after that foul, but they must maintain their focus. It was... Next up is Great Britain. Only two more attempts to shatter the Olympic record. 
A strong clean there. That'll put him into a good position for the second phase. Just giving himself some time here before the final effort. The bar's gone down. That's a fail. They must regret fouling that, but they're still in the running for this event. It was too much for him at this stage, as you can see. The British competitor then is up next. And this will be his final attempt to get a new Olympic record. A strong clean there, that'll put him into a good position for the second phase. He's just composing himself here for his final effort. The red lights are on, he's failed. That's the lead in the competition at this stage. Well, the replay might give us a better view of what actually happened there. Well, that was a magnificent victory, and we're all celebrating a worthy Olympic champion. The medal ceremony now for the men's super heavyweight weightlifting. These spectacular strong men have given us a real thrilling competition. So let's watch as they collect their Olympic medals. Now one of the field event highlights, the final of the men's triple jump. An excellent contest so far, but who will take Olympic gold? The commentator is Stuart Storey. Thanks again, Steve. Yep, we've got a real treat in store for you this evening. You've uh, seen the conclusion of the qualifying rounds. Now the best eight to decide the medals. He turns and sees the judge's flag. That proves the jump's there, though. Well, let's have a look at the replay. So let's take a look at the end of the round places.
Well, we've seen some great jumping here today. At the moment, this man is leading. He'll want to put some daylight between himself and the rest. The British competitor then is up next. I make that around 17 metres. He's capable of better, but it's a good platform. Here's another look at that action. Oh my goodness, he really does get some power into his running. We're expecting a much better takeoff than that. A smooth hop, a powerful step and an explosive jump. Good stuff. Well, as we can see, that was a good jump. It's the type of effort that breeds confidence. Well, let's take a look at the standings then after that round. So this jump hardly matters here. Already the Olympic champion here in Sydney. Let's see how near he can get to the records. Next to compete will be Great Britain. A brilliant jump, near to 18 metres. That is going to test everyone. Let's see that again. He can generate such speed in his run-up. This is a real asset to his jumping. That was good. He really shows his superb technique on the step and the jump phases. Seeing that again, that really is a monster jump. Well, the joy there for all to see. Great Britain take the gold. So we've all just been privileged to witness another bit of sporting history, the crowning of a new Olympic champion. Let's take you over now to the medal ceremony for the men's triple jump. These athletes have been involved in a real battle and now the reward, the presentation of Olympic medals.